This is the official tail light overlay install video from Premium Auto Styling. In this video, we're going to show you how to make your car go from this to this. So let's get started. To get started, you're going to need a few materials. First off, you're going to need Premium Auto Styling tail light overlays, spray bottle with some water, razor blade, and also a squeegee. It's also recommended that you get a felt edge squeegee because it's a lot easier to work with. Everything you need to do a complete install will be available on premiumautostyling.com. To start off, clean the surface of your tail light. At Premium Auto Styling, we like to be extra careful, so we decided to clay bar the surface. For those of you guys who have a fresh tail light, you can just wipe it down with some soap and water and just make sure there's no residue left over. So when you get started, it's suggested to start on the inside first, that way you can line up your outer tail light later. This side of the tail light is actually a lot easier compared to the other side. A quick tip here is, with water, you can always manipulate the vinyl, so make sure you spray it with water. Lining up this side is going to be really important because it'll set the alignment for the other side of the tail light. Another tip here is if you spray the vinyl's exterior, it's a lot easier to use the squeegee on top of the material. Starting from the inside out, you just want to work all the air bowls and any moisture out of the vinyl and out to the edges. Remember, the amount of work you put in now will make the vinyl look good later, so make sure you spend your time working all the edges into the crevices of the tail light. Now you're probably wondering why is he using a heat gun. The heat gun will help you manipulate the vinyl. That way you can get a really conformed edge to the tail light. Remember, you're only heating up the vinyl slightly for one or two seconds to pass, just so that way vinyl can be manipulated. So from time to time, you want to hit it with the heat gun. And you want to maneuver the vinyl into the edges, basically just using your finger and the squeegee provided. All right, from here, you're going to use a razor blade and you're going to cut the excess vinyl on top of the tail light. All you have to do here is run the razor blade along the tail light while cutting the vinyl. Once you finish cutting the vinyl, use the heat gun one more time. Make sure all the edges sit nice and flush. Alright, now starting on the outer tail light. It's going to be the same prep work. You're going to clean the surface and then you're going to take the vinyl and make sure you spray it. For this outer tail light, a lot of people have issues with it because the tail light has a few bumps in it. So don't worry about it. Just make sure you keep the vinyl moist and wet. If you keep it wet, it's going to be okay to manipulate. Place the overlay on top of the tail light and maneuver it. That way it lines up with the inner tail light. Okay, once it's lined up, it's going to be the same thing as the inner tail light. Working from the inside out, squeeze all the moisture and bubbles out of it. At this point, you guys are wondering if you guys can even do it, if this is too hard or is it even possible? Well, yes, it's very easy. All you have to do is take your time. The greatest thing about vinyl is if it's moist, you can always keep working with it so you don't have to worry about it. And with a little bit of heat, you can maneuver and manipulate the vinyl really easily. So with this outer tail light with a curve and bumps on the tail light, it's going to be a little bit harder to manipulate and work. But don't worry, you just keep at it. It doesn't mean that you ruin the vinyl if it starts crinkling up. Hit it with a little bit of heat, hit it a little bit with moisture, and you can still work with it. So make sure you watch this entire segment to finish the work. A few tips and tricks from the professional is don't be afraid to use your finger and don't be afraid to hit it with the heat gun. Remember, the heat gun is only about a one to two second pass just to heat up the vinyl slightly. That way you can still maneuver it around. Don't hold the heat gun in one spot for too long because you will ruin the vinyl. Another really good tip here is once you heat up the vinyl, you can almost stretch it across the tail light. Once you stretch it across the tail light, you can start conforming it with your squeegee. For this outer tail light, you're literally working one inch at a time, so make sure you take your time and work each bump one at a time. If you take a close look at these tail light overlays, you'll notice that there's a lot of excess vinyl on the edges. This is called bleed. One of the most obvious reasons between Premium Auto Styling and quality of other brands is Premium Auto Styling provides a lot of bleed area on the edges. Why? Because it's a lot easier to work with. As you can see here, he's able to grab the bleed area and work it and stretch it without actually touching the inner part of the vinyl. That way there's no fingerprints left over. It makes it a lot easier to work and it's a lot better for the user. So while you're installing, use the heat gun and continue to stretch the vinyl, work the vinyl into the tail light, pushing all the air bubbles out to the edges, and use your hand to push all of the air bubbles out. At this point, you guys are going to see the vinyl. It looks like it's almost wrinkled. It looks like it's ruined, but at this point, it is not ruined, so don't worry. Just keep working at it. As you guys can see here, the tail light's looking pretty good. If you take a close look, you can see those bumps, those contours on the light. That's what's causing the most issues. But see those bumps? You want to work each bump one at a time. Once you do that, you can proceed to the next one. During this install, if you guys are having any problems, Daniel from Premium Auto Styling said feel free to give him a call. His number is going to be available on premiumautostyling.com, so check it out. Let him know if you have any issues. 
And if you guys don't want to do it yourself, feel free to contact Premium Auto Styling for a professional install. Alright, now you're almost done. The last portion of the tail light is going to be the same thing as everything else. Hit the vinyl with a little bit of moisture, hit it with the heat gun, and then work it in with your finger, the squeegee, and stretch it out. While you're working on overlay, if you feel like you did something wrong, feel free to peel it up. You can peel the overlay up slightly, spray it again, heat it, and then continue to stretch it out and work it in. It's better to address the problem right now if you see any imperfections or bubbles. Fix it now, peel it up, and continue working. Take a close look here. You see those wrinkles on the bottom? It looks like the vinyl is ruined, but it's not. See how this one is smooth? All you have to do is heat it up a little bit, work it down to the edges, and it looks brand new again. So if it looks wrinkled, it's not ruined. Vinyl is actually pretty resilient stuff. All you have to remember is don't overheat it. Don't hold it for more than one or two seconds. You'll end up shrinking up the vinyl too much, or you'll end up burning a hole in it. So pretty much, you'll get the results you want if you put the time in to work on this taillight overlay. All you have to do is make sure you buy the correct product. And at Premium Auto Styling, we sell nothing but the best materials and products for your car. Alright, the overlay has this excess bleed area on top. What you're going to do is you're going to tuck as much in as you can. Heat up the vinyl, and now use a squeegee to push it in. Now using a razor blade, cut the excess vinyl on top of the tail light. Do the same to the bottom. Once you're done cutting, go ahead and remove the excess vinyl. Now using your squeegee and your heat gun, make sure all the edges are now conformed after your cut. The edges of the vinyl is one of the most important parts because that is where the peeling will start if it does ever peel off. So make sure that those edges are conformed and pressed down, completely sealed against the tail light. One last thing before you finish, open your trunk and make sure this edge over here is also conformed and completely sealed. You're going to need to trim a little bit of the vinyl off with a razor blade. And once you're done with that, you can start cleaning up the vinyl in the car. At this point, you guys are probably wondering what can you do with vinyl and what can you do to clean it. You can clean it any way. You can take it through a car wash. You can even wash it with yourself with a brush. All you have to do is make sure that those edges are conformed so you put the work in and the vinyl will last a very long time. And that's the complete install for the taillight overlays from Premium Auto Styling. If you have any questions or need help with an install, feel free to contact us. Visit our website at premiumautostyling.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for future install videos.